questions 44 and 45 in the Ace of Purple paper. So essentially we've got this situation where if we apply auxin to a specific organ such as the roots, the buds or the stems of this plant, um, we will lead to a certain growth response. And in question 44, we're essentially asked um, to figure out the auxin concentration at which two selected organs will have a um, equal stimulatory response, stimulatory growth response. So two organs will have a similar level of growth if their curves intersect. So in, um, in our figure, in our graph, if we could just take a look at the stem graph, um, that really high loop, and the bud graph, the, um, the loop in the middle, well, we can see that on the y-axis there is the growth response of the organ, and on the x-axis there is the concentration of auxin. So the concentration of auxin that will lead to a equal level of growth response in the um, buds and in the stems will be the concentration of about um, 10, somewhere between 10 to the neg 1 and 10 to the neg 2. And um, this is because uh, the well, when we pick that certain concentration, the growth response, the y value will be equal for both of those um, lines. So essentially we need to figure out the point where those two lines intersect because that is that point where the y value is the same and therefore the growth response is equal. So you'll notice that for the stems and buds, they only actually intersect once. Um, so therefore, there is only one auxin concentration at which the stem and bud stimulation um, is equal to each other. So therefore, A is incorrect. But if you go through each of the um, pairings, so stems and buds, we just did, buds and roots, roots and stems, you'll find that each of the um, pairs of curves only ever intersect once with each other. So what this means is that there is only one auxin concentration um, at which each of the pairs of organs uh, will, lead, will have a similar slash equal um, growth response. So therefore, we can say that A, B, and C are wrong because they all state that there are two auxin concentrations at which the um, growth response will be the same between the two pairs of organs um, when we know that there is only one concentration for each pair. So therefore, D is the correct answer for question 44. <coughs> question 45, which of the following best explains why a plant stem bends or the light? So auxin activity is relatively greater on D. Essentially what we've got is we've got this plant stem and it's bending towards this light source. So there's this inside edge and an outside edge. And hopefully you intuitively know, but the outside edge is going to be the longer one. And that's because it's sort of like an athletics track. So an athletics track has sort of eight lanes or so, and the um, lane that's closest to the center of the athletics track is always the shortest one. So the one on the outside edge is going to be the longest uh, lane, whilst the one on the inside edge is the shortest lane. And that's why the lane on the inside edge usually starts a bit further back so that um, everyone can get sort of an equal, an equal uh, length of running track to run. So anyway, um, the outside edge is always going to be the longer one, the inside edge is always going to be a shorter one, so therefore in question 45 um, we can say that auxin activity is going to be greater on the um, unlit side of the stem, the outside edge, um, and therefore B is the correct answer. <laughs>